let's say that you're like me and you're trying to check for the update that just dropped today and you're inside the release preview of Windows Insider, but if you check for update, it just simply won't work and there's a update not available for you. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the Windows 11 download site. You're going to download the installation assistant. And once you download that and you install it, it's probably going to want you to go and install the PC health check. It will take you to the website. You will download that as well. You've probably already done this when you installed Windows 11. And you're just going to hit check now. And if you meet requirements, then you're going to go back to the other page and you're going to hit refresh and it will finally let you accept the agreements install. I'm currently installing it right now. And what the installation assistant does is it will pull the latest Windows update off of the server. Um, if you reinstalled Windows, it would also do the same thing. So basically we are updating from 11 to 11 but it's installing using the Windows 10 method, so it's going to use the latest one anyways. So, we just wait for this to finish. Okay, as you can see, 22598, it's asking for a restart. We're going to slap it with that restart now. Yep, close, and we will let this do its thing. Now, as you can see, we are now in build 22.621, so we are now the latest version of Windows. It's so, one more thing, make sure you actually check for update, and it should push the 22H2 update, and you are actually done.